Okay, Mick, we're running at speed. Okay. It's been five years since the last mission. What made you want to take on this film, and why is it now perfect time for Ethan and, and Co to get back to work? Um, I was excited to get involved with it because uh, I've been looking for an opportunity. J.J. Abrams and I, the producer, had been looking for an opportunity to work together, um, and the timing never worked out. And uh, I met Tom right after The Incredibles, and we had this long discussion about what we loved about movies. And this was a chance to work with both of these guys in, in one fell swoop and, and have a lot of fun with a, a very big movie. J.J. Abrams directed the last one. Um, yes. How did he, I mean, how did you two work together? Did he stay away from your side of it? And how did that work? Well, he was very involved uh, when I was first. Uh, 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 when I started the film in the planning and the script, he'd been working with uh, Tom and the, uh, the writers, uh, Andre Nemec and Josh Applebaum, on developing the screenplay. So uh, that's when I saw J.J. a lot. Um, when it came time to shoot the film, J.J. was involved with shooting Super 8 at almost exactly the same time that we were shooting Mission. So we didn't see each other for several months. We kind of disappeared down our... Uh, uh, separate rabbit holes and, and came up at the end and then I saw him more when we were doing post-production on it. Uh, it's an amazing cast. I mean, it's an in international cast. Yes. Um, what enjoyment did you get out of working with such a diverse group of actors? Um, well, I, I think how can you not if you enjoy um, um, acting and, uh, you know, there's a reason that people become stars and to have people be the, really the top people in, in, in their respective countries is a delight. Um, you know, they were, even though they are all um, notable uh, actors, um, they're not, you know, their careers are at different points. Some of them have been stars for years, and some of them, like Z Lea Zedou of France, are, is, are just uh, coming up. So it was everything under the sun, and, um, you know, every reason that uh, you love acting um, is evident in, in the cast of this film. Can't not talk about Mr. Cruz and doing his own stunts. How, yes. What was it like when he's at the top of the Burj Khalifa and he wants to do it himself? It must be frightening. It, well, it was, uh, you know, and uh, but uh, um, I was just concentrating on, you know, it was so uh, complicated and involved. And we filmed the sequence of Tom climbing the Burj Khalifa in IMAX. Um, so uh, it was... Uh, um, very complicated, and I was just uh, worried about not screwing up my part of it. Um, but there was a moment where I woke up at, at four in the morning and suddenly going, "Oh my God!" You know, our stars, you know, hanging on a wire a mile above the earth. You know, uh, but somehow we got through it, and and you know, all props to Tom for having the the cojones to to do those stunts. I've been up on the platform. It scares me to death. <laughs> um, you're probably most famous for your animated work so far. Without getting too complicated, what's the big difference between animation, live action? Well, there's probably more in common between the two than most people think. It's, it's all storytelling and it's all uh, the medium of film. I think the biggest difference between the two is that you can't really do spontaneity in animation. You can imitate spontaneity. You can study what spontaneity looks like and, and reproduce it. But you can't really, uh, other than the voices, uh, you can't really uh, uh, have it. And in live action, you can have magic moments that happen right in front of the camera and take advantage of them. So that was really fun about live action. As with many movies now, a large part of the final movie is CGI special effects. What's it like when you've finished your part of it and then you get to see it again with the special effects on? Is that an exciting part of it? Oh, it's very exciting, but you know, um, when you do these shots um, uh, where you, that involve special effects, you see them as they're being uh, uh, developed and you know, you have to have a critical eye the same way you do when you're shooting a scene in person. You still have to go, no, it needs to look a little more like this. So you're kind of prompting the movie towards this vision that you hopefully have, um, you know, the whole way through. And uh, effects is just a part of it. But in this movie, um, one of the attractions of it was how much of it was not special effects, where we were doing it old school style, you know, with the great stunts. And I guess when you're directing, you're actually, um, 
you, you think of the effects in your head anyway. You must see it in your head when you're directing the live action, I guess. Yeah, that was one of the advantages of having done animation was um, that animation is all about pre-visualizing and knowing what something is going to look like long before you do it. So that was, I think, a great advantage. Last question. What did you enjoy most and what do you think the audiences will enjoy most coming to see Mission Impossible? Ghost Protocol. Um, I think that I personally enjoyed uh, the amazing talent I got to work with. I mean, I'm not just a, um, um, I, I view filmmaking from an audience perspective and I have a lot of people that I admire. I mean, both actors and craftsmen like uh, our cinematographer, Robert Elswit, our production designer, Jim Bissell, our sound designer, Gary Rydstrom. It goes on and on and on. And they're all people whose work I admire. And I got to work with all of them at once. In terms of the audience, I, I think that it, it's, uh, it's the biggest Mission Impossible. I think that, uh, um, I, I think that it's kind of like a summer movie for Christmas. And uh, I think that it's, it's meant to be consumed with large amounts of popcorn. And, and uh, um, I'm really happy about that. Lovely. Thank you so much for doing that. Thank you. Thank you.